Hi everyone, welcome back to another haul video. As with all my haul videos, this is just a few items that I've bought over the past few weeks from different stores that I thought you might like. Sometimes I like to include items that were gifts just because I love them so much and I really want to show them to you. So today we're going to be starting off with a few gifts from a friend. If you've seen these videos before, you'll probably already know that I have a friend that buys me gifts quite a lot and it's normally makeup or skin related gifts. So the other day he came in with this envelope and I had no idea what it was. But me and my friend Cassandra have been totally obsessed with multi-chrome eyeshadows lately. So he bought me four multi-chrome eyeshadows and they added in two glitter as free gifts. And he also bought me this primer. Now, I'm going to swatch these just to show you them up here. But sadly, I have got no idea how to film a multi-chrome eyeshadow. And no matter what I do, I try changing the light, I've tried filming it in sunlight and I just can't show how the colour changes but I will try and actually include a picture that somebody else has watched up here. The four shades that he got me were Berry, Hooza, Neelum and Zora. I also got a loose glitter named Sultan and this other pigment and honestly I don't even know what that says. I don't know if you can see that there but it's like an orangey gold loose pigment. These are from Blush Tribe and I have no idea how much they cost but the packaging is really cute. There's two different styles of bottles here. This one's like a more rectangle kind of diamond and this one's like a faceted gem. I know a lot of people out there won't like these because they're made out of plastic but I do think that they're quite cute. Yesterday I tried out Hooza for the first time and it was blowing my mind. This changes from a dark blue to purple and this is my favourite one out of them all. The Blush Tribe Glitter and Pigment Glue can be used on the eyes or the lips and I actually tried this the first day that I got it on my lips with the blue one and it was really good. Now normally I can't really wear stuff on my lips because I'm addicted to lip balm but as far as what I seen it, it wasn't patchy at all and it looked really nice. And finally, it got me these three Missouri nail polishes. These two are colour changing and this one stays the same colour. At the moment, I'm wearing this one. This is the most responsive colour changing nail polish I've ever had. I don't know if you can really see this, but even when I'm sitting here, my nails are all different colours. I've got gel colour changing nail polishes and they're not even as good as this. I wore this one for a few days when I first got these. And even though it probably is as responsive, there isn't as much a colour difference between the two. So I think that you maybe just don't notice it as much. But this one is so good. I love it. And he got me these in the shades Jacaranda Lace, Sparkle Till the End and Waterfall. You may have noticed that the light in here is different from usual. And that's because I just bought myself a new ring light and I think the brand is newer. I'm in the middle of filming a review for this at the moment because I didn't just want to do a first impressions, I wanted to really try it out. At the moment I'm kind of trying to figure out the balance of light that I should use and the positioning and everything, so that review should be up sometime this week. Since the rest of these items are quite random, I've tried to bunch them up into categories so that I don't forget anything. So today I went into Superdrug and they had on a 3 for 2. And even though I technically didn't need anything, I feel like when it's a 3 for 2, you really have to go and buy something. So in Superdrug, I got this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and this was £8. I would never normally pay that for a primer, but I've read so much about this and seen so many good reviews that I thought I'm going to have to try this out, especially since it's 3 for 2. I got this Barry M Molten Metal Nail Polish in the shade Crystal Blue for £3.99 but technically this was my free item because you get the cheapest one for free and then I got this Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara which I've never used before so I'm planning on doing a review on this and it better be good because it costs like 7 or £8 sake and TK Maxx I got this Physicians Formula Sexy Boosting Bronzer for £2.99 the reason that I bought this is because it was £2.99 and it says on here pheromone boosting blend and seductive scent. This smells like chocolate but for a company to say that something's got a pheromone boosting blend to me is false advertising 
and I'm planning on doing a video about this in the next item because I'm so sick of companies just writing anything on their packaging and people just believing it without question and false advertising is something that is it really bothers me so expect a video about this in the next item as well as another few items over the next few weeks also in TK Maxx I got this elf holographic duo for 2 .99. now you know as well as I do that this is not holographic the only holographic thing about this is the packaging <sighs> anyway I bought this and when I opened it I thought it was going to be totally chalky and crap but to be honest when I swatched it, it it looked quite nice but it wasn't holographic, it wasn't even iridescent. This Illuminasca highlighter for $14.99 I had never seen an Illuminasca highlighter in real life before but I've heard people on YouTube talk about how you open it up and it just takes your breath away and I thought mm, right it's just a highlighter they're normally not that impressive until you actually put them on your face but then when I opened this well actually I got somebody in the shop to open it for me because you're not allowed to open makeup in TK Maxx but I opened this up and you can't even see it because of the light but I will put a picture up here this is, it is breathtaking, it really is it's like purple and then it turns to like a pink colour this is just stunning actually stunning for 14.99 i think this is a complete bargain if this comes into tk maxx in any other color i'm planning on buying it normally i'm quite stingy when it comes to buying anything that's over a tenner but when i seen this opened i had to have it i didn't care how much it cost i just had to have it normally i like my highlighters to be totally blending this one just gives you a kind of natural glow and i think it's beautiful the final thing that I got from TK Maxx is this Ciati nail polish. I got this for 2 99 and it says here that the RRP for this is £18. I've got a few Ciati nail polishes and I think I got them all from TK Maxx but for some reason I don't think that this one bottle would have cost £18. One thing that I will tell you about this is that this goes on in one coat. Like one coat, there's, there's no patchiness, you don't have to fill it in or anything, it's completely opaque in one coat. I was shocked when I put this on. From TK Maxx, I went next door to Poundland and I had seen these eyelashes hanging up for weeks but I literally only learned how to put false eyelashes on about three weeks ago and I'm still not that good at it. But I didn't want to buy these eyelashes because I thought I'll buy them and then I'll just never try them on. But then when I went up to the queue, I seen these and they were from a pound down to 50 pence a packet. So I bought four different colours. As you can see, these are like glittery and kind of big and obnoxious these are probably good for like dressing up or going to pride or something but I thought for 50 pence a packet you can't really go wrong with that and these ones include glue not that I'll be using this glue because I've got my own eyelash glue that I bought the other day but I thought that these would be quite good to try out and make a video on just to see if they turn out nice or if they're just totally ridiculous something tells me that they're going to look completely ridiculous but i was in england a few months ago and i seen eyelashes similar to this for about 15 or 20 dollars so for 50 pence i might as well give it a try if you watch this channel often you'll know that i've got a complete obsession with anything holographic and lately i've been looking for a holographic pen sadly i haven't been able to find one yet but I did find these holographic pencils and I had to buy them because they were only a pound for eight. Once I got my holographic pencils, I crossed the road over to Tesco and I got myself this holographic notebook and this was four pound. The reason that I bought this is because I'm planning on doing Instagram photos with swatches and nail polishes and I got this so that I could write down a list of all the things that I'd swatched so that I didn't forget and do double photos. Personally, I think that £4 is slightly too expensive for this because a few days later I went into Poundland and I seen a notebook that's roughly the same size and it was only £2 and I feel like I want to go back and buy it but technically I don't really need it because I've got this one but I'm probably just going to go back and buy it anyway. That'll probably be in my next haul. Next to the holographic notebook there was this holographic ring binder which was also £4. I bought this because when I'm taking pictures on Instagram 
I might need to have different backgrounds depending on the palette or nail polishes that I'm taking pictures of. So I've got holographic papers, glitter papers, animal print papers and just plain papers just in case I need something to go with whatever I'm taking a picture of. And I got these papers from Tesco and eBay. While I was in Tesco I went over to the skincare section because I was looking for some Neutrogena products. I've been using some lately and I've seen a vast improvement in my skin so I wanted to go and get the rest of the collection to see if that made my skin even better. While I was there I got this Hydro Boost Triple Miracle Water which is basically a toner and I also got this Hydro Boost Cleanser Gel. I also got this Visibly Clear Blackhead Eliminating Daily Scrub. I actually wanted the Hydro Boost one of this but sadly it was out of stock so I just bought what I could get. Neutrogena products are on sale in Tesco at the moment and most of them are save a third so if you've ever thought about trying any of them out I recommend you go there. I'm actually going to be filming a review on all of my Neutrogena products over the next week so if you're interested in that hit the notification bell so that you're notified as soon as that video is uploaded. Today I went to Primark or Primark to buy some false lashes and ideally I was looking for another set of these because I really struggled to put false eyelashes on for years and then I bought these and because they've got such a fine band I find these quite easy to put on so I've been practicing wearing thicker band ones but I just think that these ones are really dainty and beautiful I don't like eyelashes to totally overtake your face and I think that these were £2 from Primark a while ago but sadly when I went in they weren't selling these ones anymore so they must just change the Disney theme every so many weeks. So instead they had these Little Mermaid lashes. Obviously I only like dainty lashes usually but they were only a pound and I thought I'll just get them and see if they're any good. I'm not too sure about these spiky ones here but I'm willing to give them a try. And these ones will probably completely overtake my face. But I think it'll be good to practice and maybe just make a video on them and see what they're like on. If you've used Primark eyelashes before, let me know in the comments section what you thought of them. If you're someone who struggles to put false eyelashes on, I highly recommend that you try the Primark ones because the band on them is so fine and you don't really struggle to put them on. Like when you're holding them with your tweezers and you put it on your eye and you just go like that and press it over with your finger, it'll just move. But a lot of the ones that I've been trying out lately have got thicker bands on them and I find them a lot harder to sit it in the shape of your eye and then hold it in position so it doesn't come off. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not an eyelash expert. So, you know, I would rather just pay a pound or two and get something that's easy to put on rather than going to a shop and spend £8 on one pair of lashes that I'm going to sit and struggle to put on and then waste my entire face. These final items are a bit random but I just thought I'd put them in anyway. As you can tell my hair drastically needs washed because I've been out in the rain all day but it also needs dyed. So I went and got this Garnier and Chase Ultra Colour in Dark Cherry. I like to change the colour in my hair quite a lot but I have used this before and if you're interested in seeing a review I've got a review of this on my channel already and I'll leave the link for it in the description box below if I remember which I normally don't. From Asda I got this dry shampoo. Now I'm someone who hates washing their hair, I'll wash my hair once a week or less if I can get away with it and my favourite dry shampoo was Asda's own but they stopped selling it for a while so when I went in the other day and I seen this one for £2 I thought I need to try that. It does seem to be a bit different but I'm hoping that it's going to be the same kind of formula as the last one and I think this was £2. This final thing isn't something that I would normally put in a haul but it was just such a bargain that I had to include it. And by the way, please excuse the noise in the background. I think my mum's drying her hair. Well, I was in Asda the other day. They had this Pantene shampoo. And for the 330ml bottle, it was £3.50. But then they had this 700ml bottle and it was also £3.50. I thought that was a total bargain. Like, look at the size of this. It's actually bigger than my face. So I chose to get the Repair and Protect. But they had all different kinds. I just wanted to try this because I had seen an advert for it the day before and they were talking about how amazing it was and the way they usually go on an advert. 
So I thought, aye, that's fine. I'll just buy it and see if it's as good as you're saying. It's probably not. But I also got the conditioner and this was also £3.50. So if you're someone who really likes Pantene, then I suggest you get down to Asda because these things are an absolute bargain. So that is everything. I know that that was a bit random, but my hauls normally are a bit random. I've actually got another few bits and pieces that I could have added, but I didn't want this video to be too long, and I'll probably just put it into another haul video later on in the month. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of these items and what ones were the best. And also let me know, do you think that £3.50 for a 700ml bottle of shampoo and conditioner is a bargain? Like, I could not believe that. If you're interested in seeing any more haul or unboxing videos, or even reviews, I'll leave some links in the description box below. Also, if there's anyone out there who knows how to work the light balance on a ring light, please let me know in the comment section. I've been reading instructions and watching tutorials on YouTube, and I can't figure out how much white and yellow light I should be using just to sit here and make a video. And also, the other day, I had makeup on and I was trying to take pictures for Instagram, but it was making the colours of my shadow look a bit darker. So, I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. As you can see here, I've got like some shadows around here and I've got a bit of shadow at the back. So, I'm trying my best. This is the first video that I've made using this ring light. But if you've got any suggestions whatsoever, or if you've even got a link to a video that's going to tell me how to like figure this out, then please leave the link in the comment section. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing any of my other videos, you can click the links here and please consider subscribing. If you're interested in seeing any future videos, hit the notification bell so that you're notified as soon as the videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Bye!